Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be traveling to the Body Mind Spirit Expo here in Denver, Colorado. This is a metaphysical fair that you can attend and also read at if you are a psychic. Good morning everybody! We are going to the Body Mind Spirit Expo today. I already went last night, um, got the kids loaded up. We're going to all go um, today together as a family to check out the rest of it. Now I have been in previous years but it's been at a different location so I was really Really interested to see what this one was gonna be like it used to be at the Denver Merchandise Mart if you are in Denver this fair was the first fair that I went to where I met the animal communicator who told me I was intuitive too that was Lizanne I have a video interview of that husband's coming to you hi me too. you too <laughs> it used to be owned by different people um and I think this kind of brand bought them out a while ago so I haven't been in a long time very interested to see what it's gonna look like. It's great to just attend, but also great if you are a reader, if you want to be um, offering your services and set up a booth here. Now there's several of these in the US, three of them are in Colorado, but there's a lot more cities as well that you can attend. You might be able to find one close to you or the next time you're in Colorado, you can check it out. I got this bag when we walked in. They were also giving out these little like keychains if you like followed them online, which is kind of cool. There's also a spot where you could fill out a future um, letter to yourself, which I did that, and they're gonna like send it in the mail to me in six months for free. I got a reading from Rosemary the Celtic Lady, and I just kind of like feel out what psychic like is calling to me um, and I sat down at her table she was super awesome super nice of course like with every psychic some things are right some things are not but um, she connected and got a lot of things right how do you like the fair do you like being here <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Honestly, you guys, like, filming in public is so nerve-wracking. I'm so anxious and I'm so scared to, like, ask people to let me film. Um, I don't know how vloggers do it, honestly. Oh my goodness. I actually went to like a mushroom class of all things um, and I was just looking at what it is like to treat anxiety and stuff so that was actually a really informative class. I would say most of the classes here are really like intro level which is great I think if you're like new. However I would say that like there's not very like advanced classes um, and it makes sense because I actually like threw in um, like a, an application to teach my own class here but it was like really basic intro level and when I looked at um, all the classes it's all like basic intro level stuff so I think I might actually try again and put in something a little bit more advanced. There was one guy that I bumped into that was supposed to teach a class at the same time as the mushroom class and they got his times all confused and I, I felt really bad for him he's like a medium he's like okay I guess my class is tomorrow so it does seem like there's a little bit of disorganization, maybe it's just this event, um, but I think that normally happens with big events like this. So I just had a reading with Casey. Casey and I met on Instagram like right before the event and she was really awesome, let me film her. Um, so thank you Casey, but she was just so spot on. She got, like I think almost everything out of her mouth was like correct. Um, not that it's about always being correct, but she was picking up on so many things that I'm going through. All the questions that I had, she answered and like, I didn't have anything else to ask about, um, but she was fantastic, you can check her out. Um, I put everybody's links in the descriptions down below. Honestly, I'm just having so much fun like networking with people, getting to know people in this community, seeing like what their stories were. There's some um, metaphysical like shop owners here 
it's great to like chat with them and see like what their class like rates are um, and if like I could come like do a class so it's also great if you're a reader because you can just you network you can meet other people that are into this make new friends it's good to be around people that are into the same things as you are now for my fellow readers out there these fairs are a really great opportunity to make money, to read others, to get new clients. I talk about in my masterclass course like all the different ways you can do readings and make money um, and fairs are definitely an option. So just know that you have to pay a fee to reserve your booth space. Now the booths around the outside are the ones that are for readers and usually the booths in the center are for like um, people who are selling like items. But just know you're gonna have to have that money up front and I find that the booths on the perimeter often go pretty quickly so it's something like you need to jump online see when it's going to go live and reserve your booth right away so the downside is you have to save up the money for this but from what i've heard you end up making your money back um usually again that's going to be different for everybody but some of the upsides to this is that you are meeting a ton of new clients you can fit in a ton of new readings you can capture their emails you can hand out your business cards i would really recommend making sure you have really flashy signage i find that the people People that don't have a lot of their booths um, really it seems like they kind of sat around and waited and didn't have as much traffic so the downside of this is you kind of have to invest in like decorating your booth I also think these are great because it gives you so much practice you're, you're walking away each day reading so many people however one of the biggest downsides it's noisy it's loud there's a ton of people in here trying to do a reading for somebody with all of that distraction can be a big challenge. Honestly, I'm no one to talk here because I've never read at these fairs um, for the longest time. I just never had the upfront money to be able to pay for a booth. And by the time that I actually had the money to be able to pay for it, I kind of felt like, Ugh, I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if, if I can like read in all of that chaos. I also found that like when I did parties, my max is like four hours. After that, I'm just like done and my readings are not good. So you definitely have to pace yourself. You have to find a way to like get grounded, shake off the energy, take lots of breaks. As long as you know this going into it and you're prepped for it, you should be able to kind of like manage your time, manage your energy, and hopefully it can be a really beneficial thing. Now, one of my favorite parts of these fairs is all the booths in the center. There's so much to buy, so many crystals. Bring your purse, <laughs> bring your wallet, expect to spend a lot. And I met so many people at different booths that were willing to talk to me, let me film. I had so much fun just learning about their stories and how they started their businesses. From the Oleta May Apothecary, I got this amazing tower super generously like priced as well. I also got a ton of stickers from her as well for my grimoire. I also connected with Rochelle. This was like her first event and she was handcrafting just these beautiful jewelry pieces. And so I grabbed this bracelet from her. I also spent my money on readings, but definitely walked away with a few tarot cards. I was looking for the borderless tarot and I found that. I think my absolutely favorite find was this. Um, so there's a group called Ritual and they make journals, they make um, tarot card stamps, and this is like their own tarot deck that they make. It's the Rider weight, but it's like watercolor. But I do know you can get their journals and it's like a daily tarot journal. You pull a card and then you can stamp the card into the day and journal about it. But this was my favorite find and I've been waiting to record this video so I could just pull these out and finally use them. <laughs> so pretty. And last but not least, I might have walked away with some mushrooms, <laughs> which is legal here in Colorado. I'm kind of terrified to take them. This is a whole journey in itself. I might make a video on it. I might not. I don't know yet. However, they were selling um, kits and we bought a kit to grow your own to be able to harvest and then use. I want to say I've been doing my research on that for a while, so please do yours before jumping into something like that. Overall thoughts. It has been so long since I've been to these fairs. It was really great to go to connect, to network, to meet new people. I met some really great people that I've now stayed in touch with um, online. I've reaffirmed my belief that I do not want to read in one of those. Again, the energy is just too chaotic. Maybe if there was like a way 
for them to like create more privacy or you know help with like the sound i think my biggest complaint is the location and the the building it had like a cowboy field this is where we have our national western stock show like it just did not match the feel at all they also had a lot of like ai prints that were like really weird and messed up all over i don't know it kind of felt weird i also won a free massage from one of the groups just by th um, walking around and throwing in my business cards and i had somebody else who picked up my business card and reached out to me for a podcast um interview so it's like the networking from this, like to me was beneficial, that might not be beneficial to you. But even the readers that I met, it's like, I would love to like continue to chat with them. I wanna go back to them for readings. I learned a lot from the classes that I took. And ultimately I came home with some really cool new junk. <laughs> So thank you so much to everyone that allowed me to film. If you're a reader, even if you can't find this specific um, group, see if there's metaphysical um, events in your area that you could put up shop. So if you have any questions about it, please feel free to ask and hopefully I'll see you at the next one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Alrighty, bye.